Hello everyone, my name is Michael McKen, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to project an image or a movie onto any object in Blender in the instance that you have a scene with a film projector or a similar device and you want other objects to interact with it that are positioned between it and the screen. Now I already have my camera in the scene, but I need to add a plane which will act as the screen or, or the, the object that the image will be projected onto. And now I'll just scale it up and move it out in front of the camera. So for any of you who have ever tried applying textures to lamps, you'll know that you really can't project the image flat onto a surface. It, it projects it sort of warped and I think even kind of mirrored, like there's two of the same image. Um, and the whole thing just looks kind of wonky and you can't really straighten it out. So we're going to be using a, a different method for this. I'm going to select this loop by the lens and hit shift s and cursor to select it because we want the image to be projected you know right from the lens so now i'm going to add another plane and i'll rotate this and scale it the same way i did for the uh the screen And I want to move it as close to the screen as I can. Okay, that's good. So now I'm just going to go into the uh, node editor. Now its material is going to be an emission. And I want to apply a texture to it. Okay, so I have a folder on my desktop that contains 250 frames of an animation. So I'm going to locate that folder. And I'm going to select the first image and click Open Image. Now I'll connect it to the emission shader. Now I'm going to go into rendered view. And I need to unwrap my plane. So what we have to do now is, because we don't want to see this plane in our render view, we only want to see the light being emitted onto the screen behind it, um, we're going to go into our properties window and select object and scroll down until you see ray visibility and then deselect camera okay so now it's disappeared from our our rendered view we can still see it in wireframe so um you would want to in order to sharpen the image um you know you can see that i have the plane here and then the screen behind it so you would just take the plane that's emitting the light and just move it closer to the screen. And the closer you move it, the sharper your image will be. Um, I don't think you'll ever get it as sharp as uh, the original render, but you know I suppose that um, you know film projectors don't exactly uh, project things in high definition anyway. So uh, it's just just one of the sacrifices of of using this technique, I suppose, is that you just can't get it very sharp. So I'm going to set up my image texture now, uh, change it to image sequence, and set the number of frames, and make sure that auto refresh is checked. And just if it turns pink, just uh, scroll along the the uh, the timeline, and you'll you'll get your image back. And now you can see that I have the animation on the plane. So that looks good, but what if you wanted an object between the camera and the screen, and you wanted the image projected onto it as well? Well, that's an easy enough thing to do, but it does create a little bit of a problem. So I'll just show you now. Um, we'll add Suzanne. And 
And I'll go into edit mode and I'll subdivide her smooth a few times. And give her smooth shading as well. Uh, let's also have her uh, facing the camera. Alright, so all you need to do now is just select the plane behind Suzanne and Shift D to duplicate it and move it out in front of her. And now you have the image being projected onto her as well. But now we have to deal with the problem of Suzanne not having a shadow on the screen. And in order for this to be realistic, uh, she would need one. So, um, also, you know, just like you did with the screen, um, you know, make sure that that emission plane is really close to Suzanne's face so you'll get a nice sharp image. Um, so for Suzanne's shadow, I'm just going to select Suzanne and Shift D to duplicate her and move her back on the X axis. Now I'll tab into edit mode and hit S to scale on X zero. And that makes Suzanne flat as a plane. So now you want to position the flat version of Suzanne between the screen and the first emission plane that you created, which is pretty hard to do because they're, they're very close together. So just zoom in so that you can try to, uh, to squeeze it in. And let's, let's move Suzanne and that second emission plane out a little so that we can see the effect. And now with the flat Suzanne selected, go back to ray visibility and deselect camera for her as well. And you can see now that all you can see is her shadow. And you would probably want to scale it up a little. I think that that would you know, make for a more realistic uh, shadow since she's, uh, you know, Suzanne's a little further from the screen. So now you can select both Suzanne's and move her around and her shadow will follow. So if someone knows a better way of doing this, please share it with me because this seems like a sort of a crazy setup. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Maybe somebody will find it useful and I'll see you next time.